In a landmark victory for marijuana reform, the House of Representatives has passed the Secure Fair Enforcement Banking Act. While the debate over marijuana legalization has flooded state legislators, this banking bill's passage could be paving the way for future federal reforms, we hope. Legal journalist Molly Barrows joins us now to talk about that. Uh, Molly, when <clears throat> when was this bill introduced and does it seem to be moving at a decent rate? It does. When so little moves with bipartisan support in Congress now, this one really has a lot of support. So it was proposed in March and it's moving right along. The House just passed it recently, in fact, and it was proposed by a congressman out of Colorado. And it's basically a law. If it's made law, it will protect uh, any businesses that work with cannabis, it will enable them to be able to work safely with banking institutions, and it will keep these banking institutions from being open to prosecution, any kind of criminal prosecution for doing business with them, because as you know, it's still illegal federally, but we have 33 states and counting, plus the District of Columbia that have legalized it for state use and individual use, so this is what it's meant to do. There's so much money being made, and basically Congress is saying, this isn't about, or the House anyway, this isn't about marijuana, this is about banking, and these banking institutions are asking for this. So <laughs> let's give you, it to yeah. them. Anytime you talk to Congress about banking or Wall Street, they're always going to be favorable. Yes. Full disclosure, as I tell this story, I, I, I Charlotte's Web is right. something that I, I want a fair amount of, okay? And so I want to, I want to tell you that the, the, the problem is when a state says, we're going to legalize this, and then they don't have anything that they can do with the money. They're, everything's cash. They're credit cards. That's right. Are very, there's some companies that have moved into that space, but it's not broad enough. Uh, how has cannabis industry, have they been operating without banking's help? You said it. It's a lot of cash. It's uh, individual niche businesses that help them problem solve, help them fi find financiers, if you will. Sometimes it's uh, overseas banks or institutions that are more comfortable with it. Sometimes it's credit unions or local, locally owned banks, state banks that aren't underneath the same pressures or feeling the same constraints as maybe a national banking uh, institution. Yeah, so it's more the individuals. I, I got to tell this story because it's, it's to me it puts it in perspective. HSBC. Yes. We did the story yes. on them laundering money for terrorists. Okay. Well, and they actually admitted it. Yes, we laundered money for terrorists right. and human life was taken. Americans were killed because of our laundering money for terrorists. Some, that's an institution that says, ah, we can't do this though. We certainly can't get involved with marijuana. What's your reaction to this? Isn't this kind of the norm? Money, money, money. <laughs> yeah, I think yeah. they finally got support from the Republicans because Democrats have typically been on board with this. They've typically been supportive of marijuana as an alternative for medicinal treatment, as well as a business uh, you know, proposition. And I think finally you've got the banking institution as a whole on board with legalizing this because there's so much money to be made. And that's where you're getting the, res the support from the Republicans because they are worried, again, going back to that far right stance of maybe offending some of their more conservative or religious constituents, if you will, who may see something wrong because it's still illegal federally. But they want to move forward because they see a chance to make it about banking and not about marijuana. So okay, that's so, why it went through the house. Yeah, so so where were these religious conservatives when HSBC raised their right You're hand exactly right. and said, "Yes, we have taken in money from terrorists. That's right. We knew what we were doing. We understood it was being used to kill American soldiers over in Iraq." Hypocritical. And we did it anyway in Afghanistan, and it wasn't just HSBC by the way. So, okay, does this let, let's talk let's look at this. If, it, if, if this bill passes, doesn't it also create a trend where more states say, yeah, we're comfortable legalizing this because the federal government finally has shown some leadership that's and right. said banking can be involved. Yes, and I think there's a lot that's at, it's at stake here. I mean, first of all, we don't know how well it's going to do in the Senate, but so far reports indicate that they're going to green light that. The, the, the fellow uh, from Idaho who is in charge of the ba uh, Senate Banking Committee, he said that he is definitely going to move it forward. Their version may not look exactly like the House's version, but they do want to take it up. You have Marco Rubio saying, well, I may not agree with legalizing marijuana uh, as a whole. I do agree with basically giving banks the green light to go ahead and control it financially so that they have some control. So that to me seems to be the heart of it. Whether Rubio meant to say it or not, he was uh, basically saying, we want to put our hands in that cookie jar. By golly, this is how yeah, we're going to yeah, do Rubio's it. <laughs> and still most, feel good about ourselves. Yeah, still, you know? Well, Rand Paul, what I love to see Rand Paul is libertarian. And he says, look, well, let's, let's, let's own up to where this American culture is. Legalized marijuana is a reality, That's at least right. for medical use. Most people are going to go with that. It's a it's a, it's a reality. So let's 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 jump in and, and own up to reality. Thank you for yes. joining me. OK, thanks, Pat. Yeah.